Well, class, we're going to continue on page 93. On page 93, we have a picture. No, we have a big picture and also a reading activity number one. So, let's focus on the activity. What can you see? Okay, the sea, the bottom of the sea, a people doing some activity. Perfect. And how do you call that activity in English? No idea. Let's see our vocabulary here. Sports. Dive. Dive is this sport. Okay? Perfect. Now, let's see. Reading activity number one. Read and listen to the text. Where do you think this article is featured? In a newspaper or an, in an encyclopedia? Ideas class? No? Okay, let's listen. Teaching dance in schools is CPE. Remember, physical education. What sports do American students usually play at school? In winter, it's usually basketball, hockey, and gymnastics. And in the summer, it's often baseball or track and field. But, give me a second, much better. But at Yellow Creek Middle School, classes are different. So, what are they doing for the PE classes? The students aren't playing basketball or hockey, and they aren't running. They are doing a new form of exercise. They are doing street dance. So, what is street dance and why are the students doing it in school? There are many different types of street dance, but it's basically a combination of hip hop, dance, funk, and a lot of physical exercise. It's a lot of fun and all the students have a good time. Uh, the students at Yellow Creek Middle School love street dance and are really happy, but is it a sport? Street dance isn't an Olympic sport, but the students are doing physical exercise. Some teenagers don't like playing competitive sports like soccer or running. They often bring notes from their doctors with excuse, no? So, they don't play anything. These students love street dance and there aren't any notes from the doctor today. What's next for American PE lessons? Some schools are introducing skateboarding, martial arts, and even yoga in their PE programs. Okay, class, this text is very interesting, but my first question is, where do you think the, this article is featured? In the newspaper or in an encyclopedia? Of course, in a newspaper. Okay, that is the real answer. Newspaper. Okay, this one. Now, let's see. Let's continue with number two. Okay, remember, if you have problem with the text, you can read again the text. Okay, you can listen to the teacher. Number two, skin the text and answer. Is street dance part of conventional PE program? Yes or no? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. I repeat the question. Is street dance part of a conventional PE program? Remember the text? Remember the text? No, it isn't, is the answer, okay? No, it isn't. Very good. Somebody thought, yes, it is because people teach, uh, or teachers teach it at school, but are not uh, formal. It's a way of saying that, no, it's not formal. They are trying to, to create new activities, especially for students that don't like PE, no? In part of the article said, some students don't like to play in teams, like playing soccer or basketball, but they love uh, street dance, no? and there is no problem. 
Okay, let's continue. Let's continue, right? True or false? Remember, if there is any problem, you can read this article again. You can listen to the audio. You can do whatever you want so that you can understand it, okay? Let's see. American students always do a street dance in their PE lessons. True or false? Okay, class, listen. Try to get the answer and we're going to do it in class, okay? I'm only going to read the sentences. B. There is only one type of street dance. True or false? C. Students at Yellow Creek Middle School like doing street dance. True or false? D. Street dance is an Olympic sport. True or false? Many students don't play any sport in PE classes. True or false? F. Yellow Creek Middle School is the only one in the country to offer unconventional activities in PE classes. True or false? Class, all the answers, just, just true or false, are here in the text. Now, are here. So, read carefully. No, read carefully. And you can answer them. Okay? Let's continue. There is another class. Answer the questions. So, this part is very, is going to be very important for you. Because if you answer this, it means that you understand the reading. If you are not answering there is a problem so be careful what sports do american students play at school according to the reading in the reading they name some sports so what sports are they b what is street dance uh, what is a street dance Remember, it's a combination of, it's in, the, it's in the reading, okay? And you need to search what, of what? Salsa, rock, merengue, tecnocumbia, I don't know. C. Why do some students bring notes from their doctors? Because they, no? Why do some students bring notes from the doctor or their doctors, no? Remember, when you see movies, well, American movies, they send a, a excuse, no? Excuse me, my son or my sister is sick because of something, so he can or she can do PE today. Thank you. No, it's mom or dad writing the excuses. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Remember, number three, write true or false, and the answers are here. Number four, answer the question. Well, you need to tell me the answers. If you don't, there is a problem. So, this is the moment. So, you are going to have your uh, materials early on Monday, so you can get ready for this activity. Class boat, do you want to try street dance? Okay, remember, we're in Mr. San Jose. And I don't know, teacher Marcelino or teacher uh, Maria Teresa wants to try street dance. Are you agree? Do you want to try street dance? Yes or no? Let's vote. What other sports do you want to try at school? For example, it's common to see football or soccer, volleyball and basketball. That's it. But I've never seen, for example, soccer. No, uh, sorry, hockey. Or I've never seen, a, I don't know, tennis. It's difficult to see tennis. Or, for example, Another sport, baseball, no? Baseball. So, what other sport do you want to try at school? No? Well, class, this is being our activities for today. 
¿no? With seeing the vocabulary about sports and the reading activity. About teaching dance at schools, is it PE? No? Perfect. Here, I'm going to give you information for the next class. We're going to learn present, progressive, affirmative, and negative. Okay? The present progressive is very, very easy. But what you have to do is to practice the verbs. Okay? What verbs, teacher? For example, this part. Those verbs. Catch, dance, dive, hit, jump, kick, lose, run, score, shout, throw, train, walk, and win. Those sports, oh sorry, those verbs are useful because of something you learned before, no? So next class, you are going to practice with those verbs. Uh, in the activity grammar number one, present, progressive, affirmative, and negative. Okay? There are some rules, so you need to uh, get ready. No? For example, most verbs add ing. Consonant plus e, omit the e and add ing. No, like dive, diving, lose, losing. For example, when ie change into ie to y and add ing, no? Like lodging, tight touching, for example, no? Or one vowel and consonant double the consonant, no? I say consonant, uh, what is that? Consonant, vowel, consonant, the last consonant is repeated. No, hit, hitting, begin, beginning with double N. So, be careful, practice the verbs, it's going to be useful. If you don't, well, it's going to be difficult. So, please, do it. Thank you so much. See you uh, in our English classes. Bye-bye.